Jeez. Oh my god! Oh my god! What?! Bro, what? Hello, um, fellas. Today I'm bringing, um, a video I normally didn't post on my channel because I have a Palasong related channel and this is very much not Palasongs, but, um, I just had to just, um, I'm just trying to, uh, make a different form of content so I can actually still post on this channel because, um, I kind of haven't been finding flipping enjoyable, but, um, this is a guide on Pathfinder and his grapples and stuff. Um, I'm starting here to show uh, a basic concept on like an actual map because it's a little hard to show or it's a little harder to show on the firing range um, but what it uh, the first concept before we even get to grappling because I could help your grapples even if they look somewhat decent like that um, I could hopefully help bring, um, like, just some, e uh, easier to use, or further, longer range grapples, I should say, things that'll get you further, but the first concept is to get, um, when you grapple, always grapple behind something, so, for example, uh, or behind cover, I should say. What's a good example? You're fighting over here. Um, you down a guy, and you want to push up on that. Well, you can. Um, that was bad. But just make sure, like, if you're pushing up, you have cover. Because as Pathfinder, you're a, you're a big body, right? So, um, you're going to want to... Make sure you have as much cover as possible by you, or else you're gonna get kind of caught in the open. For another example, oh, there's people fighting. Actually, oh, not people. There are robots fighting. It's if you're gonna um, push a fight, always try to have entry damage. So like, if I'm pushing in here, I wanna, like how I got that down, and how I'm not entering through the door that they're fighting through. And they're all just kind of sitting here, which is weird. I guess the smoke disables the bots. But this, I want them to come outside, because literally the whole lobby is in here. You want to make sure you always have cover and that you're playing off of it well, because otherwise it makes things harder. So I guess I use this. You shoot someone off the roof and they go behind that wall. Well, you're going to want to grapple and use this as cover. You know, you're going to want to play this as cover or even do a shorter grapple if they didn't move as fast and play behind this wall because even if you got a good um, amount of entry damage on them you still wanna um, make sure that you can stay alive because they might have teammates or something and you never want to grapple into someone who has um, 
teammates nearby. Like, if they're running to their team, never grab on that. That's, like, um, same level of stupidity as, like, getting a whole bunch of PlayStation gift cards and they're all brand new and spending, like, $140 with them and acting like uh, PlayStation isn't going to get a little suspicious about it. These grapples, like, there are different levels, and the first couple ones are just, like, um, it's not even really grapples, it's just mechanics to make your grapples look better than this. And even that's not a terrible grapple, it could be worse. Um, like, you know. Why are my teammates saying no to me? Okay, but anyway, so the first thing is... You want to grapple, um, depending on how far you go, you kind of want to like, if I want to swing up onto this balcony, I want to go about there. Oh, I forgot there's a smaller balcony. You'd probably want to go lower, but like, you know, if you want to swing down the stairs, you'd go there. Um, and you want to play with how high you're grappling, and, um, so if, you know, you want to go pretty far, you're going to grapple up here and then you can go a little further but that is uh, definitely not an optimal grapple still you probably want something a little a little better than that and um, you know so maybe try instead of that um, and then just like you do that uh, and what that is how I'm doing that is as I grapple, I'm looking this way, and right before, um, like, I passed where the grapple's stuck, so, it's kind of hard to explain. I grapple here, I'm passing, I'm passing, I'm passing, almost as soon as I, uh, like, grapple, I'm looking this way, as soon as I see that I'm passing around that point, I want to turn my camera, and it's gonna, it's gonna look like that and it, um, you can do like a 180 with it. Hey look, there's bots. Um, so, always make sure that you're playing height as well as Pathfinder. Um, playing height is pretty important. We're just gonna buzz. Okay. I'm horrid. Bye. See you guys, I'm not playing cover well. Don't be me. Um, you want to be like how I was before in a real game? You want to be... Um, up top. You're gonna wanna position yourself well with grapples, and since my teammates are getting killed, um, I could just peek here, you know? But instead, since I know that there's two of them, and they're picking up one, I could. I don't know why the lifeline is open. Since I know that they're fighting, I'm going to. Let's just say I'm done here. I'm gonna get two cover with my grapple. Because really, it is kind of a difficult task. So like, look, they're pushing me, and I could just run. But if I need if I need distance, let's say like I really need a heal, I'm going to get a good grapple away, and then that sucks. But uh, heal, you know, like you're going to want to use your grapples a lot of the time to get out of a fight. It is. Um, a lot harder to use your grapples to get into a fight, but staying out of a fight with a grapple is a lot easier. So like, um, another example is you can use it to take like a better aggressive, I don't know, a better aggressive position, like that's a little riskier, and they're gonna kill themselves with that. I don't have shoddy ammo. I'm actually gonna die to bots. Yeah, 
you know, you just want to use grapples to give yourself the advantage as much as possible, otherwise you're kind of cooked. If that makes sense. Like, that was not using grapples to my advantage necessarily, but, I mean, it didn't get me killed, so. There we go. Um, yeah. Necessarily going to want to just, um, that was something that wasn't a smart grapple and wasn't on the list, but you're going to want to use them, um, not as aggressively. I'll teach you, um, where I personally use them aggressively and where I would avoid it. So, just gonna grab some weapons, for examples. Um, give them some some stuff so I'm not struggling all day. Um, but like, what you're going to want to start with, I think, is that grapple I was teaching earlier. I don't know what it's called. It's like a hook. But um, you're gra okay. Here we're grappling high. We're gonna go far. I grapple here. Turn away as soon as I like um, see that I'm passing the point of where I'm grappling, and I'm I think I can show it. Like it leaves a mark. Where did I grapple? From it, right there. You see that mark right there? Um, as soon as I see that I'm passing that, I'm gonna stop looking this way and slowly move. It's the same thing um, for going that way. You're gonna want to um, look away and then start um, going towards it right it's not like during because that will um break the grapple but right before you pass it is about when you wanna can i hello dude I was doing fine with these earlier. Actually, I was hitting them like... There we go, okay. It's, I don't know, like, my timing was off. Or my fingers weren't fast enough or something. You're going to want to know um, basic zipline tech. Like, you don't, I don't know how to mantle jump. You don't need to know how to mantle jump. But, um, super jumping and, um, just like zip hopping. Um, so, like, that, you know? Or even without the super glide, you just kind of gonna wanna know. Because, I mean, Pathfinder's ultimate is a zip line. And with that zip line, um, another thing I forgot to go over, but, when care packages are falling out of the sky, um, and there's like two and you know you can scan them, literally just place your zip. It doesn't even have to be far, just like, like that. And then you can scan the two packages. I've started doing that recently, and it's actually been like, a lot more useful because, even if you have like, I usually try to place the longer zip lines. Um, and even if you're not going to use it for a while, if it's like, you know, if you you start hearing a fight over there, you already have a way over there, and you still have um, a zip line to use. So I think it's pretty useful. So the next one I'm gonna go over is called the Ferris wheel. And to be able to understand the hook grapple fully, I guess I should have taught the Ferris wheel first. Um, um, so the hook, actually, if you're noticing that you're not getting as good of results as me, like, uh, you know, they're looking, they're looking good still, but like, uh, before I do a, like, hook grapple like that, I usually do, 
the first parts of a ferris wheel first just so it gets me further and what a ferris wheel is is you grapple jump and move forward uh, like this so right as you hear that um, grapple cue or that grapple and that cue the grapple like audio cue yeah it was a cue I'm not I'm just not in the as soon as you hear the audio cue of the grapple hitting the ground you're going to want to jump and move in the direction that you want to go so in this case I'm trying to go forward and then I'm going to let go of my grapple so I can get on this bridge also if you need to like like um, being able to grapple just like really short distances um, as long as you have like the proper mechanics for it because you don't want to necessarily be doing something like, like uh, that you know that looks bad but instead if you I mean it doesn't only look bad that is a very easy way to get beamed if you do something like uh, this like that isn't something to be scoffing at it's really helpful to get on height or something um, the next type of grapple I'm going to be talking about I, th I don't even know what it's called it looks like this um, and it's a little short one it's good it's um, good for just like getting high on an opponent or dodging bullets that you might not be able to normally and you don't want to do it like that that is a example of what not to do how you do it it's like the ferris wheel but you do it right under your feet it's a little easier timing than the ferris wheel i believe you do that and then you jump at the same time and let's just say I'm fighting this guy in the box. You know, I'm jumping and shooting at him. And he's going to expect me to be there. And I do that. I don't think, you know, a normal person who... A casual is going to be expecting that. Um, again, you're fighting here. Get a decent shot off. Oops. I mean, that works. But... Um, that could cook you. So again. Okay, I need to like actually hit this. It's... You have to do it right under you, so you have to look all the way down. I mean, not all the way, but... You're going to want to look most of the way down. Like that. And then, you know, you can get a... Decent hop on the person. This is one that is actually like I would recommend using it more aggressive like actually only using it aggressively there's almost no like passive use for this type of grapple um, as I obviously don't have them ironed out as well um, like they could be better and in certain scenarios like this it's better to just use a wall bounce so like, you know, they're not going to expect you to be all the way up there and get that shot. But let's say we're down here and we could, we could, um, get like, like a, um, fatigue wall bounce off of that maybe. Um, but that's a lot harder. So instead we're peeking, hitting these shots up, oh. we're peeking, hitting these shots. Um, playing cover, obviously, we never want to not be playing cover. Um, and then we do that. They're not going to expect, you know, you to be up there. It's a, it's a thing that you want to use carefully, though. Don't ever try it twice in a fight. If you fail the first time, they're going to be expecting it from you. Um, also, I guess that works, but it's not as safe, you know? Like, it grapples with the floor and canceling it isn't as safe as just doing that. So I would recommend just learning this. It's not that hard. It literally, I learned it uh, yesterday. Um, I was using it in-game, and people really seriously don't expect you to be up there. Um, you just have to make sure you can hit your shot on the way down if you're using, like, um, 
a mastiff or something, um, or a wingman. Otherwise, just make sure you hit your spray on the way down, whatever. It's kind of the same feeling as hitting one of these um, wall bounces like that and getting a shot off. Um, so yeah, the next grapple is going to be um, a, what is it called? It um, It's like a, this one, you're not going to um, necessarily want to use aggressively and it's actually not optimal, but it is faster than the other method and it can get you like it can help you run away easier if you just like if you've given up on doing more advanced grapples with like jumps and stuff you're going to or if you just want to like get your ferris wheels better um look further onto the ground so like out there and back up and then jump and you go a lot farther um so obviously um with ferris wheels the further the further you back up, the further you go anyway, but, um, you're gonna want to back up, like, a decent amount, you know, like, and then go, um, and that just puts, like, a little bit more tension on the, um, on the grapple and lets you go further, um, which actually does, um, you know, it's important to do um, and then one of the more one of I mean my favorite grapple to use the one that gives me the furthest you I'll just show you it real quick if I can even hit it it looks like that and um, obviously it is a 30 second grapple cooldown so um, use it wisely you know if you're going to be using it aggressively, make sure you have the uh, perk for Pathfinder that lets you get grapples on knocks. And it is the same concept as like the um, the Ferris wheel. Um, that wasn't necessarily a Ferris wheel, but it gets you a lot more range. But before I teach that um, fully, I just want to teach someone something I forgot about that you can also do up here. And it is a like a grapple that you can use to get so if you're here and you want to get on top it is oh I missed the uh the mark a little there you're gonna want to grapple like on that um, but you grapple on that and then you swing around um I didn't realize I forgot that it had a lip like that so um, all you're gonna do is kind of like a slingshot, but just as you're turning, all you don't even ha move forward. So you're going to want to be holding forward on your stick and just move your camera like that. Move it so it it should take you a, like a little higher, like I can get on that ship. But just whoop, and then you're you have height, you know. And then, um, so the last thing was that I think it's called a slide grapple. Um, so what you're going to want to do is find a point you can grapple from that's like medium range. Then, so you're, let's say you're running, stop your momentum, move backwards, jump and slide back like that. So it's going to look like that while keeping your focus on this. So you want to make sure it's still blue. And then grapple and it should have like a lot of tension on it and you can you can fly. So um a lot of like people who spend quite a bit of time on Pathfinder use this. It's like honestly a great tool. Um PC players tab strafe out of it which obviously can um, get them more range because they can um, tap strafe and like let's say you're tap strafing and then you land on an edge you can keep your momentum um, and obviously tap strafing isn't easy but you know you're zooming because how much momentum this gives you and that wasn't even a good example let's see if I can get a better one 
You want to make sure, um, see, uh, my mistake there was I didn't get a, um, I didn't get the grapple as soon as, like, I landed. You want to get the grapple, like, you can't grapple while you're in the air. You have to be sliding to, um, be able to get this. And see how much tension that puts on the grapple. Like, you're zooming with that. Um, and then a couple other things. Uh, like, these are, like, bonuses, I guess. That I want to teach real quick. Um, just to add to the... Um, the grapples that I've done and I haven't really explained. You want to learn um, air strafing, which is um like you know it's moving in the air you can practice this pretty easily with horizon make it like a lot more noticeable because horizon has better air strafe speed than the rest of the legends and you uh it's easier to uh hit that ledge it's easier to slide jump into it um it's also easier to notice in like a super glide let's see uh, at the ledge. Who has a little bit um, faster strafe speed is Octane, but specifically when he's stimming. Um, it's not as fast, but um, he definitely has somewhat um, faster air strafing speed. I'm pretty sure he does at least. It feels like he does. And Octane's another person you want to be uh, be hopping with as well. Um, so I think that's it. If I remember anything else, I'll make a part two. But um, remember, be hopping. Always play cover. Um, never make stupid grapples. Like. Oh, I guess I haven't showed you how to use gra grapple aggressively. So, I'll do that real quick, because it is important to understand. Um, like, even if you don't have the um, the perk that lets Pathfinder get grapples on Nox, it's still really useful to be able to use his grapples aggressively and I feel like um, some of this should be common knowledge but I'm just going to show it I'm going to show it over here so let's say you're here you're spraying someone they get behind this um, and there's a rock over here so I'm going to grapple I'm going to try to get a grapple you know behind this rock and then I can pull out I can use I, I went too far I hit that wall if you do that, you could even use this as cover. Um, and you're going to want to uh, like use a shotgun or just your AR and beam them, stop them from getting that heal. Really simple. Just make sure you're grappling to cover. If you aren't, so let's say this guy is a great example of not being in cover. You break him and you're up here and you broke him and you, you don't have an angle in him anymore and you went down. Um, make sure his team isn't there before you do this, but you can grapple and oh, he's gone Okay, I guess pipe boys are an example You get a decent beam on him, but he's hiding now and you want some like um, You want an advantage in this even though you already have him broke if you just want an extra one you um, grapple out of the sky or something so you can get a shot when they aren't expecting it. Kind of like a jump. It's kind of like uh, when someone's playing cover and you're able to get a jump shot on them like that. It's, you know, that's just how two ways you can use it aggressively. I'm sure as you play Pathfinder and get better as in, you can figure out more. But yeah, that's the uh, general tutorial. Bye-bye. Um,